Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you're all doing well, guys, please do me a favor, put the smile back on your face, because I know that you are probably a bit sad after the draw that we had versus Villarreal 1-1, it is not the best result, of course not, but it is not the end of the world, we are still in the fight for the top 4 in Serie A, where we will have to play versus Empoli, we are still in the qualification possibilities versus Villarreal, it will be a big final on the 16th of March, absolutely yes, but we are still there, we are still running, some clubs guys, they are not anymore in these competitions, but of course we will have to find solutions for now, but also for the next season, for the future, and that's why in that video we will speak about how to solve the problem of serving Vlaovic, especially now that we will miss on top of all the players that we had, McKenny, McKenny crack, but also Kayo Georgi that could have been a solution also him crack will speak about the medical updates the injuries but also the mercato mercato for the future they are speaking about some names so stay on the video we'll speak about Vlaovic I already told you also a bit about Champions League a lot of things to cover today in that video remain on the channel put a maximum of like and subscribe to the channel we start as always with that beautiful intro Juve oggi CDA fra strategie per l'estate e nodo di bala. What are they saying today? There will be an important and big meeting. The boards of directors will be together for a meeting about the future strategies and also to have a decision about di bala. Will they take a decision today about di bala? Will they speak with di bala? No, of course not. It is a meeting with the board of directors, but they will start to plan the strategies. Strategies that can go to Two different ways. One, with Dybala, because that means that you don't need a big investment offensively. One, without Dybala. And then you have to change your plan according to what will be there. Will they take a decision? No, but they will evaluate the different plans, not only about Dybala. The meeting is not only about Dybala. It is about the future strategies, strategies of Juventus. Will there be a revolution? I don't think so, because we already started the revolution pointing and targeting young players, young preferably Italian players, with low salaries or lowers and as we said yesterday in the video I don't know if you were able to see the video or not maybe also new strategies in terms of the new signings and the renewals that will have a lower salary fixed salary but maybe more million in bonuses so what they are actually trying to explain at Juventus is if you want to earn a top player salary then on the field you have to go and prove that you are a top player a strategy that I love I don't know what will be discussed more today but I tell you today the 24th of February 2022 is an important day for Juventus guys we continue because there are a lot of things to say we will start with a few words about Champions League of yesterday yesterday Atletico Madrid was facing Manchester United from our ex-players Cristiano Ronaldo and Paul Pogba I watched the game Marca Spanish paper is saying poco premio para un buen Atletico not a big reward so a small reward for a really good Atletico Madrid and yes it's true that Atletico Madrid was stronger than Manchester United at the end it was 1-1 a draw the same result at Villarreal Juventus guy yesterday I was watching the game I wanted to do a video about that game that I watched closely because of Ronaldo because of Pogba because of Joao Felix that everyone is uh, explaining me that is a real big talent there was not a lot of things to say except of a really beautiful goal of Joao Felix, of course, but the performance of Pogba was absolutely not great, Cristiano Ronaldo was not in his game yesterday, a disaster Manchester United with Maguire in defense and Varane that were really, really, really bad. Guys, sometimes I hear complaining about Rugani, but when I see the two other centre-backs from uh, Europe, from Manchester United, sometimes I'm happy that I have Rugani, at least if he would be fit. Guys, we have to continue speaking about the other game, because yesterday there was a beautiful game a beautiful Champions League game Calcio Champagne the Champagne that we love to see the beautiful offensive football Ajax was winning at a certain moment versus Benfica 2-1 what are they doing? they are continuing to attack to go for that 3-1 that's what we are asking all the teams continue, continue, continue what happened? 2-2 two, two. Hey, it is what it is sometimes uh, it also happened it's not because you are attacking a lot that you will always win the game yesterday we had a proof I'm not 
not defending Juventus because Juventus, uh, they are never attacking. And that's another problem. And we will speak about it today in that video. So remain on the channel. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the maximum of likes. We continue with Corriere dello Sport. La Noche del Diez. The night of the number 10. They are speaking about not Maradona, not Lionel Messi, not Paolo Dybala, but uh, Lorenzo Insigne that is uh, playing with the number 24. It is what it is. I don't care about Napoli. I will probably try to see it. I will also try to see Lazio versus Porto. A lot of Europa League games that uh, are quite interesting, but are they speaking about Juventus a bit? Allegri, tutti i mali vengono dal centro. Allegri, all the problems are coming from the center of the field. We already spoke about it. The midfield is a problem at Juventus. And on top of our actual problems, we have also McKennie that is injured. We'll come back after the front pages on these news about the midfield, about McKennie, Gazzetta dello Sport. Lukaku, rivoglio l'Inter. Lukaku, I want Inter again. Eh, Lukaku, eh, Lukaku, you took a decision for glory, for the money, for the Premier League, the beautiful Premier League. And now you are alone. You are sad. Nobody is passing the ball to you and when there are big games you are even on the bench it is what it is Lukaku and why am I speaking about Lukaku not that I care a lot but I want to speak about Matthias De Ligt Matthias De Ligt I don't know what will be your decision in the summer will you stay will you leave I don't know I believe and I'm firmly uh, sure that he will stay at Juve but pay attention the grass is not always greener to the neighbors I don't know if that uh, expression exists in English but in French it is l'herbe n'est pas toujours plus belle chez le voisin. It is what it is, guys. So pay attention to De Ligt. Eh, don't be attracted too much by Premier League because Premier League is not that beautiful. We continue because we have medical updates to give to you after Alexandre that went out at the 45th minute in Champions League versus Villarreal. He will be out for 10 days. He will absolutely miss Empoli and probably also the game versus uh, Fiorentina in Coppa Italia what is happening to Alexandro uh, trauma trauma and it will be to re-evaluate re in 10 days so we are not even sure that it will be back in 10 days I know I know the jokes on the channel and you will say hey I'm happy that Alexandro is injured please guys a bit of respect don't be happy for injuries to other players and don't be happy also for the injury of Weston McKenney because the injury of Weston McKenney is even worse we saw that he uh, was suffering pain 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 in Champions League he had to go out Zakaria took his place at the 81st minute what's happening to Weston McKenney fracture of two second and third metatarsal bones on the left foot eight weeks of stop uh actually to be honest i was uh i was fear fearing i was even more scared i was thinking that it could have been even season over eight weeks that means that we can potentially see weston mckenny again for the final of the season hopefully he recovers really soon yesterday he was posting a story where he was watching his phone with his left foot actually not in a great state guys there is even worse news even more bad news because kaya georgi that was not in that champions league he played yesterday with the under 23 he was playing there and around the 24 25th minute uh, he fell on the ground for him it is a disaster disaster why because I was reading the report of Juventus and then I checked and tried to investigate I found a really beautiful explanation Dr. Rashpal Brar he was explaining that uh, um, Caio Giorgi had a rupture of the patellar tendon you can see it here on the images timeline can be even if Juventus said around seven months but if can take even longer between 9 and 12 months that even a year disaster for Caio Giorgi that decided not to go on loan to remain at Juve to play to start gaining a chance to be a starter one day potentially at Juventus especially for next season uh, the guy will have to stop a disaster I'm super sad for the guy super super sad speedy recovery to McKenny to Alexandro to Caio Giorgi but on top of that we even have more injuries because the list is long Federico Chiesa, season over, we knew it, Alexandro, we just spoke about it, Giorgio Chiellini, big doubt, when will he be back, Federico Bernardeschi, big question mark, when will he be back, Daniele Rugani, big question mark, when will he be back, and Paolo Di Bala will probably also miss Empoli, he will potentially be back for Coppa Italia, disasters, eight players that are not there for Juventus, that's a big, big problem, I don't know how we will survive that, but we'll have to find solutions, and what are the potential solutions 
you have two ways to go or you can start thinking about Yalf players or you can maybe go to that 4-2-3-1 the 4-2-3-1 that a lot of people were asking after the winter mercato and probably seeing Locatelli together with Zakaria in that two-man midfield with Paolo Dybala as a number 10 with on his left side Morata or Bernardeschi or Moise Ken on the right side Quadrado with on top Vlahovic that can be a solution for Juventus an important one especially if we know that in Champions League Vlaovic was served only 15 times and in these 15 times only four times in the midfield of Villarreal guys we need solutions we need a link between our defense midfield and our strikers and the striker is Vlaovic that can be a solution 4-2-3-1 that will not be possible on Saturday because Dybala is still missing I highly doubt that Sule and the rumors are saying about Matthias Sule that he can from now on until the end of the season be integrated in that first team pay attention what will happen there 4-2-3-1 or continuing with a 4-3-3 with some youngsters and now we will have to speak about uh tuto sport tuto sport that is as usual speaking a bit more about mercato we love mercato because mercato is something that is letting us dream our us Tifosi not even focusing on the end of the season but maybe already thinking about next season where the objectives will be even bigger than this season Tutto Sport Juve ora aiutalo Juventus now it's time to help him you have the big striker that you wanted named Dusan Vlaovic absolutely great fantastic he proved that is a phenomenon that he can do a lot of things but you will have to help him I already told you about <coughs> sorry the 15 touches that he did in Champions League not enough not enough if you have a striker's potential big striker like him you need to serve him and Europe is starting to speak about him Europe everywhere but also the world is speaking about Vlaovic they were putting him in all the front pages after his record goal of 32 seconds after his debut in Champions League Spain in Spain they are even saying is one of the three one of the three who Haaland, Mbappé and Vlaovic thanks to his flash goal but also his performances mamma mia what did Cherubini and Arriva Bene do they do they did a really big 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 favor and gift for Juventus and that's really beautiful we can be really proud of that but now we'll have to invest also in the future pay attention it's not only in Europe that they are speaking about Vlaovic but also in the world yesterday New York Post New York Post was speaking about Juventus was speaking about Vlaovic were they speaking about football absolutely not they were speaking about his potential new girlfriend the Italian Megan Fox <laughs> it is what it is guys 22 he's playing at Juventus he's a fiance he is loving the potential Italian Megan Fox guys I don't know I want to go back to football guys football is more important today Juve Zagnolo si scalda Juventus Zagnolo is warming up not only Zagnolo because you can already see uh three other players we're speaking about Sergei Milinkovic Savic Paul Pogba but also Renato Sanchez and I know how much you love Renato Sanchez so let's go in chronological order starting with Zagnolo that is there on the, the double page they're speaking about Zagnolo why because he is actually ticking all the boxes of the new request of that strategy the strategy that will maybe be talked about today in the boards of directors Zaniolo is Italian he is young he is Juventino he doesn't have a really really big high salary and he still didn't renew with Roma potentially he can be a player that Allegri could love why because it's a player that can play different position also in the midfield and he has that ability to go up to score to open position and to help Vlaovic can be a real target let's see he's feeling good at Roma he could even potentially renew but Roma is taking time because they don't want to exaggerate with salary and Juventus has a bit more possibilities to sign him that's one player then Pogba Pogba with all the contradictions of the world he's uh, already older than Zagnolo he is earning a lot of more money and so on and so on we know it but Pogba for free is still something on the table especially if you are losing your number 10 in terms of marketing Paul Pogba can replace that side yesterday I saw Pogba he was really bad he was really bad we have to be honest on this channel and objective the heart says yes the brain says mm, pay attention Sergei Milinkovic Savic is a player that is still on the list but we know that Lotito will never leave him to Juventus for under the 60 or even 70 
70 million and then that they are speaking about Renato Sanchez. Renato Sanchez can potentially be a really great player for Juventus, but Milan is on top of the run. Why? Because Franck Kessier can leave and they found that in Renato Sanchez the ideal substitute, so we will have to see who will join Juventus. Guys, we still have a few things to say. Caccia aperta. The run is open for who? For a vice Dusan Vlaovic because Dusan Vlaovic great and superb and great but it's not enough because if he's tired, if he's injured, hopefully that will not happen. Whatever, you need a substitute and who are they looking for? Are they going for Lewandowski, Benzema, Holland? No, no, no. We already have Vlaovic but maybe a profile like uh, Chupomoting, Chupomoting that played at Paris Saint Germain, that played at uh, Bayern Munich, that is 33. A kind of, I'm not saying that he will be the target, but a profile like him that is accepting the bench and ready to enter to fulfill actually the same role as a Vlaovic. Can be really interesting. And I want to fish, finish the video with Antonio Conte. Yesterday he lost with his Tottenham versus Burnley. Crazy after four months uh, being on top of Tottenham, he started to come. He started to cry, to complain, saying, maybe I am not so good. He's already saying, pay attention, it's not the fault of Tottenham. Maybe I am not so good, but I hate losing. I hate losing and I lost four games out of five. This is not acceptable. I am an ambitious man and probably I'm not in the team that uh, can fulfill my ambitions. Crazy, crazy yesterday press conference of Antonio Conte. Guys, is this surprising for me? Absolutely not. I was talking with my friend Matt from the Tottenham channel and I told him, I told him enjoy Conte while you have him, but don't fall in love with Antonio Conte. He already did it so many times. He did the same thing with Juventus. He did the same thing with Inter, with Italy, the national team with Chelsea is doing it now with Tottenham we know how he is and that's a reason why I don't want Antonio Conte that objectively is a really great coach but I don't want him back imagine Antonio Conte with the team that we had in the beginning of the season without Ronaldo without uh, Vlaovic that didn't come until the winter without Zakaria and so on and so on imagine Antonio Conte would probably have left after the game of Empoli guys again a longer video I know that you are enjoying them I don't know if you are still there after 17 minutes of video of reporting guys please put a maximum of like please put a maximum of like please put a maximum of like subscribe to the channel grazie forza juve